Well, thank you for breaking the story, Sean. This is a full-blown genocide. The reports we're getting on the ground are one of mass casualties, beheadings, rapes, persecutions. It's a full-blown Christian genocide, and a Christian Holocaust lays within our midst. And you've been the only really voice of Christianity and of reason, because throughout the struggle, my people have been massacred because of who they believe in. And Christian, and, with the, and this is precisely because they won't convert. It's convert or die, right. and a lot of people are dying, or they have to leave in anticipation that that moment will come for them, right? Isn't that, is, this is the reality, and many Christians right. now have fled their country. Right, and the sad part is they're taking children and women and changing them on the place for sex slaves, they're massacring every Christian they see, and we face the extinction of the oldest Christians in the world. Earlier today, I spoke with White House officials, and I've told them, if they keep not doing anything to protect Christians around the world, they're sentencing my people to death, and they're not acting. So we need to put the pressure on. And what help are you getting from Washington? It was interesting. There were reports out that the Egyptians, right. the Jordanians, to their credit, are fighting back, uh, asked for intelligence assistance from this president, and they were denied. What is this? What is the American government doing to help the plight of the Christians that are being slaughtered? Well, the American government and the White House are not doing enough. Uh, I'm doing a coalition of Coptic Christian leaders and Jordanian Christians, and we're going to Washington next week and meeting with White House officials. They're talking about it, they're assessing, but the time for assessment is over. We need action, we need unity, and we need to protect Christians around the world because they're being slaughtered because of who they are. This is a Christian Holocaust. What did you think when the president are doing in North Carolina mentioned that, that three Muslims were killed, turned out to be over a parking spot, but when the 21 Coptic Christians were beheaded, he didn't mention that they were Christian? Right, it's uh, disgusting. The absence of leadership in the White House is leading for more and more Christians to be persecuted and beheaded. Our church is being bombed. Nobody's acting. This is, like we keep saying, a full-blown Christian genocide in Washington isn't is doing this, anything. Are you equating this to a modern-day Holocaust? This is a Christian Holocaust. Yeah. Well, the reports we're receiving from people on the ground in Iraq and Syria are reporting that every Christian is being targeted and killed because of who they are. All right, Mark, very disturbing report. Mark Rayo, thank you so much for being with us.